okay so let me start from the beginning so uh, today we'll going to draw the isometric projection of the circle so the circle diameter is given uh, 50 mm and there are many methods are there to draw this the simple method is four center method that's what we will uh, follow first you draw a circle of diameter 50 mm or radius 25 mm draw the circle and here to draw the isometric position of the circle we need to enclose the circle within the box here also so how to draw, uh, enclose it from this point you draw a horizontal projector on either side or draw a tangent like this similarly from this point you draw a vertical projector on either side from this point you draw a horizontal projector on either side and from this point you draw a vertical projector on either side wherever this horizontal vertical projector meets okay so you will going to get a square or the box like this for the circle you will going to get a square only and you name it for your uh, reference i'll call this uh, outer square as the a b c d and uh, these points are the okay no need to call this just as a circle four points it is uh, touching that the, so you can call that as 1 2 3 4 or 3 4 5 6 whatever it is so this is the initial uh, the step that you have to complete before starting the isometric projection now as usual you know you are familiar with uh, many examples we have discussed yesterday you draw the horizontal line and then you take any one of the point here i am taking the point p as my reference and draw the 30 degree line on either side after this you take this ab and bc distance it is same it is 50 mm you take the isometric scale of this 50 mm from b as the center you cut this uh, 30 degree line line right side and the same dimension you cut it on the left side 30 degree line also you call the corresponding point as the a and this point as the c now to get the point d to complete this from point a you draw the parallel line to bc or else draw 30 degree line like this from point c you draw a parallel line to ab or else you draw a 30 degree line so next the intersection of these two lines you will going to get d point so after this so so now what uh, what you have done you have drawn the isometric position of the outer box that you have enclosed so now you draw a diagonal a to c you join a line so this is the first step that you have to do it next as i have told it is a four center method we will find out the four center and then from that as the center we will try to draw the uh, ellipse because the circle in the isometric position it looks like an ellipse so next step how to draw it let me explain here from point d uh, before uh, going further for this entire is the isometric position of your square whatever you have drawn here you find out the midpoint of all this sides a to d midpoint you mark it a to b midpoint b to c midpoint and d to c midpoint you mark it first after that from point d you draw a line till it meets the midpoint of ab similarly from point d you draw a line to the midpoint of bc and similarly from point b you draw a line till it meets the midpoint of ad and from point b draw a line till it meets the midpoint of dc like this after this so i need to identify which are those four points so that i can draw the ellipse so these two intersection point i can call it as the one and these two intersection point i can call this as the two and point d i can call this as the point uh, three and point b i can call this as the point four it's a four uh, center method so after identifying these four points what i have to do is so let me explain the next slide so from b as the center from the beginning i'll start from b as the center either this four or three are the radius because this distance is same from b to four and b to three distance is same you take your compass from b as the center b to three or b to four as the radius from here you draw an arc from here to here just observe the cursor so one arc you have completed similarly from point d d to 6 or d to 5 as the radius d as the center look at the cursor 
six to five like this. You draw one more arc like this. Two arcs are completed. So now the third point, I will take this as the uh, this intersection point as the center. This intersection point as the center, I will take. And now from this two to four or two to six as the radius. From two, you draw an arc from four to six like this. Okay. So this is the third step and the fourth step. So from this fourth point as the center, one to three or one to five as the uh, radius. So you draw an arc from one, like three to five, you draw an arc. A perfect ellipse you're going to get like this. Once again, I'll repeat this four center method. So first you draw the diagonal AC, correct? After that from D, you draw, draw a line till it meets the midpoint of AB. From point D, once again, you draw the line till it meets the midpoint of BC. Similarly, from point B, you draw a line till it meets the midpoint of AD. And from point B, once again, you draw a line till it meets the midpoint of DC. The intersection of these two lines, you identify point one, and this is the point two. Since it is called four point, so this is one for point one, this is point two, and I can call this as the point three and point four. So let me start here how to draw the ellipse. So I'll take the point one. So in the serial order only we'll go. Point one, one, two, three, and one to five as the radius, any distance you can take. You draw an arc from your compass from five, one as the center, you draw an arc from three to five. That's all. Okay. Now the point two. You take this point two and two to four or two to six as the radius. You draw an arc from four to six or six to four. So like this, you can draw the arc from here to here. Now, if I call this as the third point, the B. So B as the center and B to four or B to three as the radius. From B, you draw a one more arc like this. Observe the cursor here with the help of your compass. Similarly, from uh, the fourth point D, D to six or D to five as the radius, you draw an arc from D six to five like this. All the four arcs, if you uh, complete, uh, complete a perfect ellipse, you can find like this. So this how the circle. So we have to draw the isometric projection. In all the four positions, if you draw it, it will look like this. You can see. All the four positions also, the three positions also you can uh, the try. So you, you're going to get like this. Okay, so with this, uh, almost all the uh, planes we have completed. That is two-dimensional object we have completed. So started with uh, triangular, uh, the lamina, uh, uh, square lamina, rectangular lamina, pentagon lamina, hexagon lamina, and the circular lamina we have completed. Okay, so. Now let me take uh, the one more uh, the next uh, the topic. So that is we'll go for the isometric projection of the solids. So solids uh, in detail I'll explain when I come to the solids chapter. Okay, solid is a three-dimensional object. So uh, as of uh, now till your orthogonal projection of the planes. And as of uh, today's class, we have discussed only the two-dimensional object. That is, the object which has got only the length and breadth. The thickness we have neglected for our the discussions. Okay. A solid is a three-dimensional object. So, it has got not only the length and breadth and even it has got the thickness also. This is called as the solid. So, uh, if I once I come to the uh, solid chapter, once again in detail, I will give you the information. And uh, prism that we're going to discuss uh, today, a prism is also a one type of solid where it has got the three dimensions as such, length, breadth, as well as the height. So the first uh, example is very simple. So it is a cube I have taken. So cube is also a uh, solid. And what is the speciality of the cube in the sense it is also called as the, hmm, the cube, one more, uh, the technical name for this. Hexahedron. Why it is called hexahedron in the cube means hexa means six. Six similar faces you're going to get in in case of your 
the cube. That's why it is also called as the excedrin. In cube, for the solids, let me tell you, before starting the isometric equation of the solids, first we need to write the, the top tube and front tube for our uh, the purpose. So easy for, uh, for us to draw the isometric position. So if I consider the cube is given, we have to draw the isometric position of the cube of 50 millimeter side. Why 50 millimeter side is given? Because height is also same for the cube. So all the three dimension, length, breadth, as well as height is also same 50 millimeter it is given. A cube, if it is uh, uh, looking from the top side, it looked like a square, correct? A cube which, which is seen from the front side, then also it looks like a square only. So that's why you draw the top view and front view like this for uh, for even uh, the solids also. So that is what I have written here. I draw one uh, line, x, y line here, small line, which I am not drawn here. Draw the top view, it looks like a square and the cor corresponding points you project it here, draw the vertical projectors and construct the, the front view also. This is your x, y line. Okay. So front view also look like an square only of 50 millimeter. So after drawing this front view and top view, for my consideration, I can uh, call this as the A, B, C, D, the bottom phase and top phase, I can call it as a 1, 2, 3 also. So in solids in detail, we'll discuss that. For here only, for your, uh, the, uh, and all the four points, you can name it. 1, 2, 3, 4 are A, B, C, D have uh, taken. So now I'll draw the isometric position for the uh, cube. So first, so I'll draw a 30 degree line as usual. I'll draw a 30 degree line as usual. So let me show this little show. I'll draw a 30 degree line like this. I'll take any one point on this. Uh, I'll draw a horizontal line like this and draw the, I'll take this uh, any one point. I'll call this as the any one point, A point I've taken here. Now you draw a 30 degree line on either side like this. After drawing this 30 degree line on either side, you take A to B or B to C because it's a square, all the four, uh, four side dimensions are same. You take 50 millimeter, convert that into isometric scale. From A as the center, you cut this 30 degree line and from A as the center, you cut this 30 degree line. You're going to get B and D here. So after this, how to complete this, uh, this square? From D, you draw a parallel line to AB or 30 degree line right side. From B, you draw a 30, 30 degree line left side or parallel line to AD. Wherever these two lines intersect, you call that as the C. So the bottom of your cube is completed now. So I have to complete the isometric version of the cube now. So what is the height of the cube actually? So length and breadth I have drawn here. The height is also same. So that is the height is also 50 millimeter only. So that means what I have to do from all the points from A, B, C, D, you take the isometric scale of the 50, the same thing with the help of your uh, the compass, you draw a line, vertical line first from all the four points A, B, C, D, and then cut isometric scale of 50 millimeter. So like this, let me show you. See, from point A, you draw a line, vertical line, which is equal to the isometric, the scale. From point B also, you draw a vertical line, you draw a vertical line and cut isometric scale. And point C also, you draw a vertical projector line and cut the isometric scale of 50. And point D also, you draw the vertical projector line and then, hmm, cut this vertical line with the same uh, the dimension. So you call the corresponding points as the one, two, three, four, just for your reference. A to one, B to two, D to four, and C to three. That height should be a common that is equal to the isometric scale of your, the cube that is uh, the height 50 millimeter. Once you get this uh, four points, you join all the four points, one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to one. So you're going to get uh, the isometric position of the cube. Or else, one more method of how to draw this. So after completion of this, let me teach you here. After completion of this, what you have to do? You draw the vertical projector from here till it meets the C. 
R S. So you take a vertical trajectory, you can draw and take isometric 50. From this point, you draw a 30 degree line on either side like this. R S the, the parallel to this and this line. Afterwards, you can draw the vertical line here wherever it cuts that. So you're going to get these two points like this. See, from here you draw vertical projector from which is equal to the isometric uh, the 50. Now you can draw the 30 degree line this side, 30 degree line this side are parallel to this, parallel to this. After that, you draw the vertical projector from here wherever it meets this line. So you're going to get uh, these two points. After that. You draw 30 degree line this side and 30 degree line this side are parallel to this. Are parallel to this. You will go to get this half face. So the, both the methods had taught you. First method uh, which one I taught you after getting A B C D from all the four point A B C D you draw vertical projector that is equal to the isometric scale of 50. After getting the, those points, you name those points as the some other name. One two three four. I have taken A B C D bottom. Uh, I have taken the top, uh, the points. I am taking it as the one, two, three, four. After getting these points, join all the points one, two, three, four. So your uh, isometric projection of the cube is ready. So now in isometric projection, there are two methods which are followed. Okay, the visible edges and the hidden edges. So we have discussed this in the first uh, the introduction class. Okay, different types of the lines we were discussing in isometric projection. What it says, we have to highlight only the visible edges with the thick line. The hidden edges can be shown with the dotted line, or else we can remove it. So here, only the visible edges have made it a thick line, which we can go into see. Whereas this, this, and these three lines we cannot see. Either we can. Uh, Retain it with the uh, hidden edges, a dotted line, these three lines, or else we can erase it. Okay, only the visible edges we can show it. Okay, for the uh, for individual solids and all, so hidden edges, uh, the dotted edges we can use it. Once we come to the combination of the solids, then only the visible edges only we will retain. Rest of the lines we will try to erase it. Okay, so this how we have to complete the isometric projection of the cube. Exactly, it looks like this. So this is a three-dimensional the view of your the a cube. If it is drawn in the isometric projection, it looks like this. So the same principle, same method is used for rest of the the solids also. One by one, uh, let us discuss the second example which I am giving. It is a uh, draw the isometric. Uh, The projection of the square prism of side of base 30 millimeter and height 50 millimeter. Okay, so square prism. So square. Why it is called square, square prism? So it has got square faces on either side, top as well as the uh, bottom, and height of the prism is 50 millimeter. That is what it is given. Uh, when you will going to get the uh, cube? When your uh, square prism will become a cube? When the height is also same as that of the side of the base, then it becomes the cube. That's all. So square prism. So 30 millimeter side is given and height is 55 millimeter. It is given. So as usual, when you see from the top, the square, it look like a square in the top top view. And whereas when you see from the front side, so it look like a rectangle of 30 by 55. So You draw x y line, and below that you draw a top view. It look like a square. You name it as A B C D or whichever you you are comfortable. And front view it look like a rectangle. 30 by 55 is the height. That height you can see in the front view. You draw this. See so top view as well as the front view for your reference. Now, first you draw the horizontal. The Isometric position for the base of your the prism. A prism always it has got the uh, top face and bottom base. So you can see. So first we have to draw the isometric position for the base first, and then at the end after taking the height we have to draw the isometric position for the top face also. First let me take the uh, the square. As usual draw the horizontal line like this. Take any one of the point. Call that as the A. And this. Uh, Is almost similar to your cube only. Just now, whatever we have drawn, 
Only thing is height we have to take 55. That is the only change here. I'll take point A and I'll draw 30 degree on either side of this point A. And I'll take 30 millimeter isometric scale of this 30 millimeter. And I'll cut on either side of this 30 degree line. And I'll call that as the B and D point. Now after getting B and D, from D point I'll draw a parallel line to AB or 30 degree line uh, right side. From B, I'll draw a parallel line to AD or 30 degree line left side. Wherever these two lines intersect, you call that as the C. The bottom portion of the square prism is done. So now height we have to take. What, you, what about the height of the prism which is given? 55. You convert this 55 into isometric scale. From all the four point A, B, C, D, you draw a vertical projector line like this. That vertical projector line, you cut isometric scale of 55 millimeter. I draw a vertical line from all the four points such that that is equal to the isometric length of 55 millimeter. Like this. Next, see, draw a vertical line from all the four sides like this, which is equal to the isometric scale of 55 millimeter. And name all the four points, one, two, three, four, in the corresponding, the uh, way I'm naming it for my reference. So after naming it one, two, three, four, you join one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to one. So this completes your, the isometric position of your square, square prism. So here also, what I told for the previous example, we have to retain only the visible edges of the, prism in the isometric position. The hidden edges are the edges that we cannot see. So we have to retain it either in the in terms of the hidden edges or else we can remove those edges. So the square prism will look like this. Only this complete half face you can see for the square prism bottom face at the side only half of that you can see these two edges that we cannot see. That's why so either you maintain this with the hidden edges dotted line or, or else the, we can erase it. For, for you know, so still you are at the beginning stage, you retain this with a hidden edges, that is a dotted line. And uh, this, 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 the vertical press you can see, but whereas this you cannot see which is behind. You. Okay, so that's why this line also from here to here, you have to make it hidden edges. So this how exactly the square prism will look like. Okay, so the same procedure holds good for the rectangular prism also. So only thing is the rectangular, uh, the prism, the opposite sides are equal. Okay, almost your cube, square prism, rectangular prism, the isometric position, the method remains same. There is no much difference. So uh, what, is, what it is given, draw the, draw the isometric projection of a rectangular prism of side of base. 50 by 40 millimeter, that is the base side, and height 75 millimeter is given. So let me draw a XY line and draw a top view. So 50 by in the top view, the rectangle will look like a uh, the rectangular prism in the top view look like a rectangle of 50 by 40. You draw it, you can call it as ABCD, and the front view will look like a one more rectangle which is. 50 millimeter by 75 millimeters because 75 millimeter is the height. Height you can see in the front view. So this is your front view. After drawing this front view and top view, now right side you draw a horizontal line and that you take any one of the point on the horizontal line. I am taking this point A and then draw a 30 degree line on either side of this point A. After drawing that, A to B if you want to draw here, take isometric scale of 50 millimeter from this A as the center, you cut it. Call that as the D. Now, A to D distance is 40. You take isometric, the scale of this 40 millimeter from A as the center, you cut this 30 degree line. So, you're going to get D also. So, how to get the C point? From point D, you draw a parallel line to this AB or else right side you draw the 30 degree line. From point B, draw a parallel line to AD or else draw 30 degree line left side. Like wherever these two lines intersect, you can call that as the C. So now the bottom portion of the your rectangular prism is ready. 
So only thing is, I have to give a height for that and top face I have to join. I will go on to get the your isometric position of the rectangular prism. So after this, from all the four points, you can draw a vertical projector which is equal to the height of your the rectangular prism. What is the height of the rectangular prism? It is 75 millimeter. You convert this into isometric scale into 0.816 and draw the vertical projectors like this. You draw a vertical projector from all the four points like this and which is equal to the isometric scale of 75 millimeter. Once you do this, you call these points as the 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I have not marked here. You mark it as the 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you join this 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, as well as 4, and 4 to 1 like this. So your isometric position of the square prism is done. Now we have to retain the, the visible edges and we have to remove or we have to show the hidden edges with the dotted lines. So this is how it looks at the end. So here, always in the isometric position, top face of all the solids you can see. The top face completely you can see. and Bottom face only these two, the edges you can see, these two edges you cannot see. Either you can represent with the hidden edges or else you can remove it. Similarly, the longer edges, this and this and this, you can see, you cannot see this one. Okay. So, like this, your uh, the three dimension of your uh, uh, rectangular prism will look like this. Okay. So, next. Uh, the example which I will going to take, so that is the isometric projection of the pentagon prism. Okay, so in pentagon prism, so here also the side of the pentagon is given 30 millimeter and height is given 60 millimeter. So height is given 60 millimeter. So here also same thing, first you take the XY line like this and below that the Pentagon prism look like a pentagon only in the top view. When you see from the top, so it look like a pentagon only. You draw a pentagon first, like this. Draw a pentagon of 30 millimeter, which are shown in the different color, red color. I'll call that as the A, B, C, D, E. Okay, fine. So after this, I have to enclose this with the help of the box, because uh, we have to use a box method for this. Got it? So you know how to enclose this pentagon in the inside the box. From E, draw horizontal projector on either, either side. From D, you draw vertical projector on either side. From this point, okay, you can draw C point, you can draw the horizontal projector on either side. From here, you can draw the vertical projector on either side. Wherever these projectors will meet, okay, you're going to get a box. The box the naming I've done, it has uh, KLMN. Okay, similarly, the front view, how do you, how you how to draw? Draw the vertical projectors from all the points here. And what is the height is given here? 60 millimeter. So in front view, it looks like a rectangle. 60 by this dimension. And this edge, you can see, you can mark this. And this is axis. So in detail, we'll discuss when I come to the projection uh, of solids chapter. So after completing this uh, top view and front view, so now let me start the isometric projection of the pentagon prism. Let me start with the base first. So I'll draw a horizontal projector line, horizontal line like this as usual. I'll mark any one point on that and I'll call that as the box L or M, whatever you can call it. L I have taken. Draw a 30 degree line on either side like this. After that, you have to measure L to M distance and L to K distance and convert that into isometric scale. L to M distance you take, convert that into isometric scale. L as the center, you cut this right side 30 degree line and call it as the M. Okay. Similarly, so L to K distance you take, convert that into isometric scale. From L as the center, you cut this left side of the 30 degree line. You call this as the point K. After this, from K, you draw a parallel line to LM or 30 degree line left side, right side. From M, you draw a parallel line to L, K or 30 degree line left side like this. Wherever these two lines meet, that is your N. 
So now I have drawn the isometric projection for the outer box first. So now I have to identify this A, B, C, D, E five points within this the box, and I need to uh, get the pentagon here. So how to do it? So in the planes we have done this. K to A distance you take. Convert that into isometric scale K to A. You mark that as the A. L to B and K to A distances are same. You can take together. L to B distance. Convert that into isometric scale. L as the center. You cut this line. That is B. You are going to get. L to C and K to E distances are same. You can take any one distance. So L as the center. Convert that into uh, the distance and cut this. You are going to get C. K as the center. Same distance you can cut. You are going to get. The E. After this, n to d distance you take convert that into isometric scale. n to d you cut this here. After getting it, all the five points you join it A B C D E. So this shape, whatever you are getting, so this is the isometric portion of your base of your pentagon prism. Once you get this, so immediately the same procedure you can follow it. What is that procedure? From all the five point A, B, C, D, E, you draw a vertical projector from all the five points. That vertical line should be equal to the height of your prism. That is uh, isometric length of sixty millimeter. Convert that into uh, isometric scale. You draw the vertical projectors so like this. See, from all the points, you draw the vertical projectors. That vertical projector length should be height should be equal to the isometric length of your the height sixty millimeter. So all the five points will going to get name that as the one two three four five, and then join it continuously like this. Once you join this, so your the isometric version of this pentagon prism is ready. So here also only the visible edges we have to retain. The hidden edges we have to show either in the terms of hidden edges that is dotted edge, or else we can remove it. So this how it looks. You can see here. So the, always the top face is seen in the isometric version because we we are tilting it in this way. Okay, the complete top face of your uh, pentagon you can see. Bottom face only outermost boundary lines you have to consider. This and this I can see. The remaining three base edges we cannot see. That you have to put it in hidden edges. The longer it is, one, two, three. You can see these two. You cannot see. You have to put it. These two also as hidden edges, or else you can erase it. So this how your the pentagon prism is done. So today you complete these exercises. Uh, so this is uh, enough, I think. Okay. So next class, the two more uh, the prisms we will discuss. That is one is uh, hexagon prism. We will discuss the same uh, the. Procedure you have to.